Welcome back to the show where uh, Skinny doesn't take me out to dinner proper. You don't deserve it. I'm Flash of Squirrels. I'm, I'm a meaty pocket. I'm Skinny doesn't do proper. What on earth happened? Do you even know what we're doing anymore? Uh, no. I don't. <laughs> Who went to the right or the left? I don't know directions. Just shut up. Everybody stop talking. Just kill things <laughs> in the volcano. Volcano killers. What'll be the name of our detective agency? Jean Von V. I feel like that's a very misleading name for detective agency. No, because our cases They'll never are so suspect explosive. They'll be great detectives. Mm -hmm. And we erupt with evidence. And that's not evidence I'm erupting with right now. You see, you're erupting with something. Ah, it certainly is fat. Yeah, it's just the, your gut. It's coming it's out of the bulging shirt. gut muscles. <laughs> hey, I'm not chubby. I'm just big bone. Big boned. He's like them Canadians. The old way up in the Upper Peninsula, eh? Ah! Damn it. So, have any of you ever seen Escanaba into Moonlight? No. Yes. That movie is amazing. It's weird. What's it about? It's about... It's Jeff Daniels. He wrote it and directed it, and he stars in it. And he is a man who lives in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And UP. hunting... Yeah, the UP. The Superior State, as oh. they call it. And... It's very important to their culture that men hunt. And he's never bagged a buck, and he's 43 years old. And he's the big disgrace of his town because he's never done that. He's married to a Native American woman who enchants him with a special power or some shit. And he goes to the hunting cabin with his family, and a whole bunch of weird shit happens, and it's great. And they speak with Canadian accents, and they drink beer. And there's a lot of farting. You need your... I don't know how to switch to my items, so... You need to get the sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, and there is a lot of farting in that. I don't know movie. how to do that. You have to switch your item, which should just be the oh. left and right bumper. The what? Left or right bumper. The hell is that? The L1 and R1 button. Yeah. yeah, those front ones. And then you switch to sandwich and you use it. Over... Ah. This... What... Jesus Christ! And you become beefcake. You have a big heart on your chest. Now we wail on these fuckers. That's okay. I'll just let you guys do that. Ah! Oh, it went away. Yeah, you can eat another sandwich and look at The love of sandwiches no, is very short. Oh, I have two. I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. Here I go again. I'm on my own. Sucking down that only chode I've ever known. So this is the part in the game where things get a little bit too hot and steamy, so if you can't handle it, click the annotation here to go back to a cooler level. Fuck you. <laughs> Hamburger. I'll have none of your shenanigans in this episode, sir. I'm no. sorry, on this, when we're together, we refer to them as shenanigans. No. Not no. shenanigans? I'm not doing that. And if you can't adhere to the code, you can just get out. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave right now. Yeah, okay, see you later. I can't. I'm sandwiched in between everybody. That's right. Sandwiched between two men. Just God, the way I you wish, like it. I wish that wasn't the case. Looks like Jonan Vasquez drew things for this game. You know, I saw, a, I saw a post on the internet the other day where someone said, you know, according to this theory, you know, about uh, programming, there's a combination of ones and zeros that will ha show you... Uh, in a three-way with Jennifer Lawrence and Emma Watson. Um, okay. I only know who one of those people are. Which one? Emma Watson? Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I'm, according to something I read on a, a news site today, apparently she's uh, agreed to be topless in a future movie. Isn't she like 18, though? No, dude, no, she's like 20, in her 20s. Wasn't she the girl on Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah, I'm 48, so that's kind of weird. No, you're not. <laughs> I know. <48. laughs> God, if you're 48, think of how old me and Skinny would be. Uh, dead. No, probably not. Not dead enough. Dead years old. Can't die dead enough. No, come back, Mr. Flying. He's a playable character later. Well, you ruined it. Spoilers! So are they. You ruined everything. Oh, well. Like, fuck you guys, I'm taking off. They had it coming, they should expect this. I was kind about spoilers in Mega Man X, but that was for a relatively new game. I figure this game's so old that... Most people have played it already. So I'm not really For concerned. For the record, I never played Mega Man X. 
Well, no, or I talked Mega about Man, I talked about Alien Isolation spoilers oh, yeah. in Mega Man X. I got that for Christmas for my PS4. Did you beat it? No, I haven't even played it yet. Oh, have you ever played it at all? No. Okay. Well, there's a part where there's multiple. Okay, I'm just not gonna say anything. I was making stuff up. There's multiple sclerosis. Oh God, no! Why? You get I don't MS, want that. Well, and you have to try to run from the alien, but you can't because you're in a wheelchair. But yeah. it feels bad for you, and it's just like, dude, I can't kill this person. If I impregnate this with an alien, the larva's gonna be a crip. And not like and the not gang. Blood, blood, not yeah, close. not like the gangs, but you know, that's what they call the cripples around here, the crips. The crispy crips. Yeah, these these guys are not dropping any food. I mean, the granted that makes sense for them to not drop food in a volcano. Yay, level ten. It's fucking wasteful, dude. Why would you drop food in a volcano? Because it'll burn. Cost so anything you drop into a volcano. It must be cast back into Mordor for once it was cooked. It must be cast into Blanca. Yeah, see what I did? Cast yeah, it into Blanca. there's an interesting theory. You know how everyone with the Lord of the Rings movies is like, well, why didn't they just take the eagles to Mount Doom? Yeah. Well, there's a theory about that. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. There. What's the theory? Uh, the theory is, is that Gandalf had always intended for them to take the eagles to Mordor uh, to, to drop the ring in the mountain. But he didn't want to take them straight from Rivendell because he knew that Saruman would uh, have the eagles shot down uh, by orcs. And so the plan was that original route that they were taking when they were in the snow and all that. Yeah. Uh, was to, once they got past that, they were going to meet up with the eagles and fly to Mordor from there. Then why didn't that happen? Well, because Saruman figured out which way they were going. Oh. And so they, Gandalf wanted them to go just to keep pressing on because he knew the eagles were waiting for them. Oh, we're fighting a little volcano. Oh, shit! Um, and so then the theory goes that when he tells them, fly, you fools, he's telling them to make for the place that they were headed originally, because the eagles would be waiting for them there. Yeah. And he didn't say just, you know, the eagles are waiting for you, because there were all those orcs around. Because Saruman would know. Yep. It's a plausible theory, but there's no way to back it up. Like many things, but people choose to believe in things they can't back up all the time. So, they'll remain nameless. Christians, but um, this has alienated most of the audience now. I mean, That's right. If, I'm if, Jesus. If hardcore Christians are watching this show after all these episodes and content that you put out, I, I've got to ask, man, you must be a, a Christmas and Easter person. I don't think there's anything to do with Christmas in anything that I've ever said. No, 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 no. I mean, they're Christmas and Easter. People. Oh, meaning they only celebrate yeah. those things? Yeah, they only go to church on Christmas and Easter. Yeah. That's fine. You guys gotta become beefy to hurt the volcano, I think. I don't have a sandwich, I don't think. I'm out of sandwiches, too. Oh, I do have a sandwich. God. Oh, darn it. I'm pretty sure this is the only way to hurt him. Yeah! Get your shit right! We killed a volcano. Oh, I did it just as you finished it. Like, it's what? okay. You have a big heart on your chest. I do. Ooh, sandwiches. So no, happy. I want a sandwich. Damn it. Let me pocket it all the sandwiches. I'm gonna open. Oh, God, no. There should be food in there. I'm fucking stuck. What the hell? <laughs> well, don't be stuck. Is he just a mini boss? Be. I think so. God bless it. Ooh, here we go. Rocks. We need that to get across the ocean. Oh, oh god, it's sock, sock puppet? puppet? Yeah, it is. Wow! Holy shit balls! what is... Oh. Well, that was fun. Oh, I just, I did not mean to do that. I'm not sure how you're hurting. Oh. I think you let those hit him in the face. Or not. Yeah, I don't know how to... Oh, you just jump up and whack him. Oh. What the oh. shit?! Ah. Hey, right, those potions do work just instantaneously like that. I never doubted you. You doubted me, basically. I did. Everybody I'm doubts me. Shit. Everyone doubts the squirrel man. I mean, it doesn't. Oh, I just got eaten. <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with it. <gasps> so far, this boss seems to be pretty simple. Does it really? Yeah. Like Simple Jack. No, no, no. You m m m make me happy. You never will, full retard man. 
I love that. that movie. 2008 was an awesome year for movies. Sure wasn't. Sure was. I just wanted to contradict you. Oh. Well, congratulations. Yeah, we did we it. We all got steering wheels. And we're going to see what we do with those steering wheels on the next episode of Andromeda Galaxy. All right, Skinny, you can take us out on this one. Yar, they're driving me nuts. Nope.